Okay, so let's talk about Barry episode two from season three. We are definitely getting a much darker Barry. So before we get into this, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you turn the notification bell so you know when these videos drop. But let's get right into it. So this episode of Barry, I think this is the darkest we've ever seen Barry go. And we're going to talk about that end right now. So this episode pretty much started off with what was Barry's plan at the end of the first episode? What did he want to accomplish with Kusuno? What was the whole thing that was going to sort of redeem him for Kusuno? Well, turns out it's getting Kusuno apart in a movie or whatever. So Barry's scouting for somehow, some way getting Kusuno into a movie. All I can think is that Kusuno, who hasn't been in much and has pretty much felt that his career was sort of at duts, will be like in gratitude towards Barry and forget about everything that happened if Barry indeed is capable of getting him a part in something. So Barry goes ahead and asks Sally for that. Sally of course says that she can't and really not nobody's gonna want to have Kusun on the show and all of that. And Barry just flips out on her and he becomes erratic. So I really thought this was gonna be the end of their relationship, but by the end of it we see that no not really. Sally's gonna pretty much forgive this so we'll get more to that in a bit. So Barry is pretty much left wondering, like, what can he do, all of this. And then he eventually goes to an audition that they told him to audition for in the past. And he's pretty much like, can we find something for Kusuno? They tell him to read for a part for himself. And then he's pretty much going to become that next role for him, right? This is so funny, especially when Kusuno is like, you went to go look for a part for me, but instead you got a part. And Kusuno's like, just let me go, Barry. I won't tell anybody. I promise all of this. Barry's like, I don't trust you with this at all. It's either you get this role and you pretty much feel gratitude towards it and you just fixate yourself on this role or I have to kill you. And so Barry goes ahead and does the audition and he aces it. He eventually does get the part. But also once he tells a story about Kusuno and how Kusuno basically saved his life, he's pretty much getting Kusuno an extra part. And just before Barry can even go tell the news to Kusuno, he realizes that he has escaped from his trunk and he has to chase him down. So while all of this is going on, we eventually do see that Hank and his lover are very much so in a tight situation now as his lover's um, father-in-law has showed up. He's pretty much the head person of the organization he works with, with the Bolivians, and he's out there to kill Hank. Of course, Hank gets the down low about everything uh, because... Of course, his lover's not going to let this happen. And he's able to evade the attack that is set on his nursery. But eventually he tells him that, you know what? He's not going to stop until he gets you. Hank has to leave. But Hank's like, no, I don't think I am. Like, he doesn't say that, but you can tell in his part that he's ready to fight. So we pretty much go back to Sally, who now is trying to make it up for Barry. But on top of all of this, she has to pretty much push her show forward in order to beat out the competition so she has to do things a lot quicker than she was anticipating and on top of all of this she has the berry drama going on and she buys him a nice dinner she also buys him a new controller which he had been complaining about in the previous episode and she's just trying to make berry happy so we also see that berry has lost kusuna as i said and it eventually turns into a chase a pretty hilarious one with a bunch of dogs for some reason and by the end of it, Barry does in fact find Kusuno, but he crashes and Kusuno tries to run back to his home, telling his um, son to call the police. And before he can get anything else out of his mouth, Barry's sitting there on the couch with his grandson and his son's there. And Barry's just pretty much like, you have choice here. I got you that part. You're going to take it or you never see these two again. And I make them go away. And let me tell you, the way that Barry said that, the way he looked and everything... That is the dark as we've seen Barry, as I said at the beginning of the video. And I think that Barry is long gone. And honestly, it's pretty hard to really even be there for Barry at all up at this point. Because, like, he is prepared to go to great lengths to keep all of this a secret. And it's just insane. He makes Kusuno say that he loves him. And that's pretty much how it ends right here. So, I'm curious as to see... What is Barry's whole plan with this? Is he just going to be getting roles for Kusuno throughout the whole thing? Like, how does he intend for Kusuno to be quiet about all of this and to never talk about it? Like, does he imagine there's going to be a possibility of him always having him in roles and movies and all of this? And at a certain point, Kusuno's just going to forget everything and forgive Barry and move on forward because 
it doesn't seem that that's ever going to be a thing that's going to happen. And so it's interesting to me, like, what is this whole logic behind all of this? Of course, Barry, somebody, somebody, I said somebody twice, but somebody who has suffered through PTSD might not really see an end goal or really be thinking about the end here. And is just trying to keep it up for the moment, not really realizing that this plan has no sort of like end to it. So I think it's going to be interesting to see what eventually does become of this whole thing. We know that he loves Kusano so much, so I think that it would hurt Barry more to kill him. Even the possible thought of doing that is something he doesn't want to think about. So he's just trying to keep him as happy as much as he can. I don't think that it's much that he won't, like, doesn't know he has to kill him, but he's just trying to avoid that um, situation and that goal there because he has so much like love and respect for everything that he's done for him as he even said to the casting director that was the one person that saw something in him when nobody else did and eventually led him to sort of want to quit everything he was doing up until that point so I think there's so much importance to his character there and I think that once Fuchs comes back into the picture things are going to hit the wall fast because this is all Fuchs, basically, that Kusano found out about everything. So definitely interesting next couple of episodes we're going to have. But I'm excited to know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We are on the road to 21,000 subscribers, less than 300 to go. So I'm super excited for that. Definitely also follow me on all the other social medias, Twitter, TikTok, all that good stuff. The handle should appear somewhere over here. We are talking a lot of stuff this week. It's Doctor Strange week. So I have a couple of theory videos coming out tomorrow and some other stuff before I go watch it on Thursday. So make sure you tune into all of that. But as always, that is going to do it for me. Like I said, let me know your thoughts and opinions on Barry. I think this season started off very good and I'm excited to see where it goes. We know with Barry, there's a lot of things that are unexpected. So I'm definitely ready to be shocked and in awe of whatever comes next. I think that Kusano, there's like no way that this whole thing isn't going to break and explode in Barry's face with everything that he's trying to sort of keep together. It's just going to be impossible. This is somebody who has, he, like Barry has broken him to a point where I think that he's going to do something drastic and we're about to see it pretty soon. Then the whole thing with Hank, I feel like there is a way that Hank is going to reach out to Barry for help, but we'll see that in the next episode with everything going on. But as always, it's going to do it for me. Check out the video on the left if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe, turn that notification bell on. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts below. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Stay safe. Stay positive.